area called Karma, where the a lot of uh, which, which is still uh, famous among the Buddhist followers. So Varanasi and both there are the probable answers. Now beyond that fact is needed. Beyond that fact is needed. A lot of you can ask. What those of you are answering A and B should think again. A and B is clearly wrong. C and D you can of course make some of the things. So C and D could be uh, among between C and D one is correct and well this time it's uh, this answer is C bar down to two options. From there it's difficult. You know or you don't know. Sometimes you may have to. Question number four. Let's see what it. What is the following? What uh, which of the following is incorrect about the third third? So, in such, in two reasons. So, which of the following seems to be? Yes, many answers are coming. Good, good. A number of answers are coming. I got around 15 to 20. I invite all of you to participate rather. कई लोगों का हाथ नहीं चल रहा है. शायद उंगलियों में कुछ दिक्कत है उनके आज. या फिर जब yes, थोड़े ज़्यादा लोगों ने करने लगा है. I hope all of you must be understanding some of my Hindi. मेरी हिंदी थोड़ा टूट टूट के आएगा बट फिर भी सुनाई देगा अलॉट ऑफ आंसर आर कमिंग बट आई सी मोस्ट ऑफ आंसर इज करेक्ट इट डज नॉट इंक्लूड डेट अबाउट नॉट ईस्टर्न स्टेट इट डज नॉट इंक्लूड डेटा अबाउट नॉर्थ ईस्टर्न स्टेट दैट इज सर्टेनली रॉन्ग देर इज जस्ट नो सिग्निफिकेंट आई स्टिल से मोस्ट ऑफ यू गेट सी एज अ करेक्ट आंसर इट इज वेरी वेरी इंकरेजिंग फॉर मी टू बट यस Which of this can be a, can be sorted out? So Bengali is one of the five languages that has been developed. Then yes, it is. Bengali is certainly one of the five languages, and Bengali is one of the main languages. So of course, just uh, Bengali, Hindi, Marathi, these are the main languages. A number of speakers are there, so these cannot be avoided. So uh, North Eastern State, it is one of the major tourist centers, so it is certainly not excluded. Good, good, very good. So we want we move on to the see the answer. It does not include data about North East Blue State. Question number five. According to a report recently published by Save the Children titled Born Too Soon, which of the following countries has the highest number of deaths due to premature births and ranks 36th in the list of preterm births globally? So. Uh, Do not try to be very intelligent here. It's just a factual question. जिसको नहीं आता है जबरदस्ती का दिमाग नहीं लगाने का and just try to remember from your factual basis of your mind that if you remember the correct answer or not. I clearly say you know or you don't know. A lot of you may be confused. पाकिस्तान को बहुत लोग आंसर दे रहे हैं जो भी लगता है पाकिस्तान में कुछ भी नहीं होता है लेकिन मैं बता दूं ऐसी कोई बात नहीं है पाकिस्तान इज स्टिल हेड ऑन मेनी फ्रेंड्स डोंट वरी बम वहां ज्यादा फूटते हैं लेकिन फिर भी कुछ अच्छा काम होता है वहां पे तो वी शुड नॉट गो फार अवे फ्रॉम दिस वेर यू आर सिटिंग इट इज द राइट राइट आंसर इंडिया इंडिया इज द करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस बहुत लोग पाकिस्तान और बांग्लादेश आंसर सोच रहे थे उन्हें लगा कि पाकिस्तान और बांग्लादेश सिर्फ क्रिकेट मैच खेलते हैं और कुछ भी नहीं करते हैं ऐसा नहीं है इन इंडिया वी हैव अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स वी हैव इकोनॉमी ग्रोइंग एट वन पॉइंट बट वी स्टिल हैव अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल हु आर नॉट ग्रोइंग एंड नाउ दिस इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट प्रूफ ऑफ इट दैट इंडिया हैज द हाइएस्ट नंबर ऑफ डेथ ड्यू टू डू प्री मेच्योर बर्थ नाउ इट्स बिट शेमफुल बट यू नो इट्स ट्रू करेक्ट आंसर इज इंडिया Question number six: The state of Haryana has instituted three new awards in order to celebrate women who have done outstanding work in different fields. Which one of the following is not among them? So have a do look at the options smartly. Do look at the options smartly. Yes, good. बहुत सारे आंसर आ रहे हैं. Yes. Hello. A number of answers are coming. Very good. Hello. Acha.
Yes, good. Answers are coming. Yes, good. Okay, fine. So, Gandhi Mahila Shakti Award, Kalpana Chavla Shore Award, Behem Shalno Devi, Panchayati Raj Award, Rani Lakshmi Bhai Vita Award. Now, among these, Gandhi, Indra Gandhi is a national leader. It includes all the area. Kalpana Chavla and Behem Shalno Devi are from Haryana and we know Rani Lakshmi Bhai is from which district of India. Every, we all know the famous Rani of Dhasi and Dhasi is in the state of Uttar Pradesh. So, Rani Lakshmi Bhai Vita Award is not instituted by Haryana government. That was the key. It's still a bit confusing between A and B. B and C should have been eliminated by just seeing the question. But Gandhi, Indra Gandhi is a national leader. It's not just restricted to one state. Rani Lakshmi Bhai has certainly been more of a more famous in Uttar Pradesh region from the district Dhati, which is already in the Uttar Pradesh, which is in Uttar Pradesh, where she belongs. So the correct answer is Rani Lakshmi Bai Vita Award. Question number seven: Which of the following is considered as a cash crop? हम्म अब लोगों के आंसर आ रहे हैं बहुत सारे लोग पार्टिसिपेट कर रहे हैं गुड बाकी जिनके हाथ में मेहंदी लगी है वो भी जल्दी से दबाना शुरू करो बटन हाँ मुझे पता है दिवाली सीजन है लॉट ऑफ यू लॉट ऑफ यू मस्ट हैव बीन ड्रेस वेल क्वाइट वेल बट पढ़ने का भी समय है पर्सो एग्जाम है सो लेट सी गुड नंबर ऑफ आंसर आर कमिंग वेरी गुड पार्टिसिपेशन <laughs> Which of the following is considered as a cash crop? So, can, what is a cash crop? Yes. Yes. Good. A number of us are coming. C for consumption. No. Now, what is a cash crop? Which is mainly by, which is made, grown specifically for profits. Yes, now we have an answer too. Yes, it is specifically grown for profits. So what the idea is, to grow cash crops, you just, they take a part of it to their home, eat it, and uh, most of it, excess is, uh, is, Sold in the market. Rather, the whole aim is to uh, sow, sell excess of it in the market. So, what happens? Wheat, bajra, groundnut. Which of these? Now, earlier wheat was a pure grain crop. Now, it has also evolved as a cash crop. Bajra was certainly, groundnut was certainly. So, correct answer is all of these. All of these are the cash crops. Just have you said since wheat was a bit confusing because of wheat, most of you must have answered groundnut. Groundnut is certainly very true. Most of you have answered. Groundnut, but uh, the answer is all of these. So good. Nice attempt, but still, one uh, last question to ask. Hope I just may you guys will do wrong. So you know, we also try to keep such questions where you do some of the answers wrong, so that you know we are also a bit uh, boosted up. We have made good questions. We have not been able to do a lot of answers. Okay, so question number eight. Public cooperation scheme is one of the popular and important schemes of the part by virtue of its 
multidimensional approach, what is its purpose? Yes, the part. There is a hint given. There is a hint given. <coughs> so, well, I tell you the most important hint that I have given in this question is I have forgotten to remove that star mark after option A. So, I guess. Option A has been very very clear. Now all the answers are coming in. Good, good. So now you have most of them have become intelligent. Now it's mainly a uh, part is by it's a government institute involved the community in designing, planning, implementation, monitoring, evaluation, and maintenance of assets created in the project. So it's a bit of technology side. Okay. So correct answer is A A. Question number nine. Union Finance Minister P. Chidambaram recently presented the Gujar Mal Modi Award for Innovation. The awards are given for which of the following fields this award is being instituted? Which of the following? So those who don't know, let's try a guesswork. आज देखते हैं आपका दिन अच्छा है कि नहीं हम्म बहुत सारे बहुत सारे आने लगे नहीं नहीं कुछ ही लोगों के हैं अभी है गुड गुड आंसर आ रहे हैं देखते हैं बाकी जो लोग नहीं दे रहे हो एक बार तुक का मारो लेट्स गेस थोड़ा बहुत भी आएगा तो चलेगा हो सकता है आप प्लस वन ले जाओ हम्म कुछ आंसर आने लगे हैं हाँ लेकिन लग रहा है तुक का तुक का देव तुक का मारने वाला दिन है नहीं ज्यादा सब लोग गलत ही आंसर कर रहे हैं अब नाम ही ऐसा लग रहा है गुजर मल मोदी किस चीज में रिलेटेड होगा हम्म So the correct answer is science and technology. The correct answer is science and technology. It is named after Bhujan Mal Modi, who has actually been awarded Padam Bhushan also in 1968. And uh, after him, there is also a city in Western Uttar Pradesh. It's called Modi Nagar. It has been uh, formed by the Modi family. The correct answer is science and technology. So, just do not worry about the question. Just do not worry about the question because you know many such questions will be there. You are not just able to answer. So, some of you, those who could not answer, just do not worry about it. Such factual questions do often miss. Now, question number ten. India is the largest producer of which of the following? Coconut, apple, orange, sugar cane. A lot of answers. Sugar cane is most common answer given by most of you, and some one or two of you have given apple also. Apple बहुत अच्छे होते हैं इंडिया के, तो डरने वाली बात नहीं है. Now, as pointed by Ankur Sharma in the previous question, he has very well got the idea. I just repeat his idea that he says that it was given innovation. So innovation is mostly related to science and technology. Very good, Ankur. Very good. It is appreciated. He found out the answer science and technology by using the word innovation. It's good. It just was. I think it was a hint, but it's a good hint. Now India is the largest producer of good raghav. You also gave the same logic. हाँ तो अब देखते हैं इसमें कौन logic लगाता है? Largest producer of coconut, apple, orange, sugar cane. I see a number of you participating. Very good. Coconut. Kerala में बहुत सारा मिलता है. एक रुपए का दो मिलता है सो एप्पल एप्पल तो इतने महंगे हो गए हैं कि कुछ दिन बाद दहेज में जाएंगे हम्म 
good a lot of answers sugar cane very correct sugar cane a lot of answers sugar cane and yes sugar cane is absolute uh, absolutely correct the answer is uh, sugar cane we have many people from the land of sugar cane uttar pradesh and i tell you one more interesting fact about sugar cane that sugar cane in northern india is actually produced in only one season but in southern areas it can be produced because there is an adequate amount of rainfall in southern areas during october november also in tamil nadu also it is there good the correct answer is sugar cane so my question number 11 next move on to question number 11 Union Minister for Women and Child Development Krishna Tirath recently represented India at Global Nutrition Event which was held in in which at which place this event was held hmm Geneva many of you will give answer Geneva kyunki aadhe se zyada answer Geneva hi hota hai Geneva mein event kyun hota hai Geneva mein many offices hote hain isliye free number de dena Rome mein koi bhi event nahi hota aaj kal yaar Um, the well, correct answer is actually London. London is the correct answer. So it was a practical question. Just do not worry about such questions. There, as I told you, there will be five to seven questions where you will do some of the answers or parts as well. So just do not worry about such areas. Question number twelve. Which of the following soils in India is the most abundant in its extent in India? It is an easy question, factual and easy. I expect correct answer from most of you. Red soil, black soil, alluvial soil, sandy soil. a lot of answers most of them are giving black soil and few of them are giving alluvial soil correct answer is alluvial soil right? it was an easy question it is it actually involves a bit of your factual knowledge that said most of the northern indian plains are covered with alluvial soil it alluvial soil are from the river the in the are in the river flood plains in the river flood plains you have most of the alluvial soil in the ganga basin in the brahmaputra basin so most of the areas are belonging to this area alluvial soil some of them are in the temperate area some of them are in the tropical areas so let's move on to question number 13 The first zero waste toilet system in India was inaugurated at which of the following villages? Answers have started to come. They are coming slowly. Yes, most of you are giving an answer. Is the common answer the next common answer is B? So, what is the correct answer? The correct answer is absolutely A. Evu Kerala, the zero waste toilet system, red W T L. So, uh, yeah, so it's a factual waste. Most of you, those who are now after assessing 13 questions. I still say those who could make half of it, six of it are correct. You know you are on a very good side, certainly. But those who have done less than three or equal to three, you know, there is some glitches in your preparation. 
Tom, uh, I've heard that um, I've got some of the queries here that for that question, um, for the two, three questions back, which is the largest producer of, one of you said Brazil, Brazil many a times. Okay, I, uh, I'll still see for it, but uh, uh, in the many books, uh, in some books it's given Brazil and in some books it's given India. It, uh, it is basically because of the difference in the type of sugar cane we produce. India is actually producing a different type of sugar cane and that is why there is a difference in the answer. So, um, in taking all the scenes, in some of the books, uh, Brazil comes first and in some of the books, India comes first. So, uh, just do not worry about the, uh, about the data. Now, for zero waste solid system, Evo Kerala. Question number 14. Question number 14. Who is the chairman of the 13th Finance Commission of India? Who is the chairman of 13th Finance Commission of India? Yes. <laughs> Number of answers, Sri Rangarajan, Vijay Kelkar, Sri Rangarajan, Vijay Kelkar. So most of you are giving an answer A and B. Very correct. Actually the correct answer is Vijay Kelkar and uh, it's good that most of you gave A and B but Sri Rangarajan is not now. And I ask you one more question related to this. Under which article of Indian constitution is finance commission this is the finance commission being constituted. What is the number of articles? Let's see who gives the correct answer. His name will be announced on in front of everyone. I've got many answers. Let's see if anyone is correct. Kuch bhi lik dhe kai log, jaisa hi bata hai, 55, 56, 44, zaruri nahi hai kuch bhi likna. Two of them have given correct answer still now. Good, Gitanjali has given the correct answer, article is 280. Dhruv Kumar has also given the correct answer, article is 280. And it is also Simant Barua. Good, correct answer, 280. Now many answers are 280. Now, of course, you will get this. This is the name of the house. The first thing is that they want the booty. Of course, the answer is 280. Okay, good. So, overall answer is Vijay Kailgar and the constitutional provision is 280. Question number 15. Which of the following constitutional amendment is responsible for making free and compulsory education to all children under 6 to 14 years of age a fundamental right. Hmm. Lakta quality sab ne akshya se padhi hai. Poor sare answer aare hai. Good, good. Keep it up. Yes, correct answer is 86. अब जिसने ये गलत आंसर दिया है, it's very very bad. It's a it's a very very common knowledge. Expect everyone to answer this. Such questions और जिन्होंने आंसर दिया है, वो बहुत खुश होने की बात नहीं है उसमें, because this is a very neutral answer. Most of you will get plus one in this. Most of you will get plus one in this. So 86 amendment. With remember with 86 amendment there is also one smart part. The 86 amendment act added one point. So fundamental right, directive principle of state policy and fundamental duty, all the three. It is the only amendment in which all the three have changed. It has added fundamental rights, it had added to DPSCs, directive principles of state policies, and it had added to fundamental duties also. So part three of the constitution, part four of the constitution, and part four A of the constitution. All three were affected by 86 amendment act, which gave free and compulsory education to, right of free and compulsory education to all children between age 6 to 14. Okay, good. Next is what is infant mortality rate? We hear a number of such data. Thank <laughs> you. 
ہے وٹ از انٹائر مورٹالٹی ریٹ نمبر آف آنسر آر کمنگ بہت اچھا بہت سارے لوگ پارٹیسپیٹ کر رہے ہیں کچھ ریئلی نمبر آف آنسر باقی لوگ جن کے کمپیوٹر خراب ہے یا جن کے کی بورڈ خراب ہے وہ بھی ذرا دبانے کی کوشش کرو شاید کچھ ٹائپ ہو جائے گڈ نمبر آف آنسر آر کمنگ اٹس نائس ٹو سی A lot of answers. So correct answer is B. Correct answer is B. It is the number of deaths of children less than one year. It is number of deaths of children less than one year of age per 1000 live births. So uh, option C and option A are very confusing. A should be rightly eliminated. If not right, what is the mortality rate of India right now? Let us see how many of you know that. What is infant mortality rate of India right now? The correct answer that was released some time back was, I did not get even a single correct answer till now. Avnesh. Yeah, most of you are uh, uh, just uh, near to it. Now we have a decimal answer also, very good, decimal answer within 1000 decimal, one decimal number of uh, children are dying. So we still have some decimal answers too. So when the correct answer is 47, good, some of you gave the correct answer, Manu Jayan, Sandeep Chaudhary, good, correct answer and many horrible answers too, 62.7, 47.59, now see uh, these are uh, decimal answers. So, no, uh, let's come on here and uh, the correct answer is so 47. So, 47 out of 100 is a bit uh, too much. You know, it cannot be actually. So, 100 live births and 47 are dead in one year. That's what we have to do. Well, uh, no, 1000 seems to be a logical answer. And then in the C option, one month of age per 1000 live births. That is again, one month is not taken, one year is actually being taken. So, let's move on to the next one. Question number 17. Which among the following state governments has launched its first Janta Bazaar outlet to sell generic drugs at 80% discount and branded medicine at half the cost of market price? Janta Bazaar. So, which state? Hmm. Which state? There are just a few correct answers. A lot of you are answering actually. But we be... I could see only 70-80 answers now. Good, a lot of you are... But, oh, I don't have any answers. 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 So, Jantan Vajar, the correct answer is Karnataka. Correct answer is Karnataka. Now those who knew and marked it correct, plus one. Those who did not know and marked it correct, still plus one. Congratulations. But ye tukke roj nahi chalenge. I saw some of you writing pure guess. So, uh, so correct answer is Karnataka. Now, which of the following Indian state has the highest scheduled tribe population in India? Which of the following Indian state has the highest scheduled tribe population in India? Now, one logical answer, which has the highest population among them? Well, of course it's Bihar, but Bihar is not in the ST belt. Now, when it comes to scheduled tribe area, just be aware that Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Orissa, the Jharkhand, this is the belt where 
this is the belt where actually tribal most of the tribal people people live so among this bihar and madhya pradesh could be the two mizoram in terms of number it cannot be it has very small population it has very small population punjab again has very small population compared to bihar and madhya pradesh bihar and madhya pradesh are very high in absolute numbers so there is a higher chance of higher number of sub categories in these areas so bihar and madhya pradesh could be the possible answer but bihar is not in the st belt i still say for st belt start from maharashtra if you remember the map of india maharashtra go into madhya pradesh go into chatisgarh and end your line end your uh, end your area in uh, orissa and jharkhand area uh, these areas are there these are areas are there so the correct answer here is madhya pradesh bihar is a large populated uh, is very large population has large population but it has low level of but it has low level of uh, tribals which of the following is the latest country to join wto now very recently it was in the news let us see how many of you go to court with the correct answer some of you are writing nauru nauru ka naam aaj tak kabhi suna bhi hai kisi newspaper mein i haven't heard recently on 22nd september russia joined russia entry is very very um, important in this context because the in wto russia was vehemently against it but now seeing the isolation in the international sphere in the trade area russia has finally agreed to join it's a big step for russia but let's see what happens in uh, further china has joined 10 years back we know everything in india is right from china even all the gods that we see in india are made in china there is only one thing which is made in india that is made in china labels that's it everything is in everything comes from china china is very much in wto do not give that answer okay so so next question so number of answers are coming good good number of answers are coming a number of answers are coming yes good the correct answer is next to highway number 7 now for last question many of you have the point that vanuatu is the least latest one but uh, look at the options in options vanuatu is not there you know the question is which among the following options so uh, whatever information that you have is absolutely correct they joined last but uh, russia is the correct answer here because it was asked among the options Now for NH7, NH7 uh, length is 2,361 kilometers. NH7 is 2,361 kilometers and it runs from Varanasi to Kanyakumari. It runs from Varanasi to Kanyakumari. It is 2,361 kilometers. I hope it's clear. Some of the famous cities on this route are Nagpur, Hyderabad, Bangalore, Madurai, and finally we move up to Kanyakumari, two three six one kilometers. Can somebody tell where is NH five? from where to where nh5 connects nh5 connects the eastern coastal area from chennai 
अप टू कोलकाता बिफोर अप टू कोलकाता इट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम चेन्नई एंड गोज अप टू जस्ट बिफोर कोलकाता इट टर्न टूवर्ड्स द मेन एरिया Can, uh, NN8, I think all of you must be knowing in this area from Delhi to Mumbai area. It connects Delhi to Mumbai via Jaipur area. So NN8 is that good. Some of you will give the correct answer Delhi to Mumbai. So let's move on to the next question. Golden Coordinator is the name of the project that is linked to it. A sitter for most of you. Those who gave the correct, those who will give the incorrect answer, I will announce their name. Okay, okay. No one is able to give the incorrect answer. Let's see. Let's hope at least one of you gives the incorrect answer. Hold to do. Roadways, 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 roadways. Uh, not, not a single man. I'm sorry, all of you. Now, <laughs> so we have an answer. One of our friend gave that gave an answer. Waterways, and has said that he is announced. Okay. So fine. Okay, I understand that most of you know this. Very correct. Golden Quadrilateral. So in Chatur Ghosh, it was the first phase of phase of Metro Highway Development Program. NHDP first phase. And I told you, I think yesterday or day before yesterday in one class I told NHDP has seven phases. Remember, most of you know NHDP phase one. Most of you are not aware of NHDP seven phases. And that is wrong. Most of that is wrong with most of you. So NSDP has only has seven phases. NSDP phase one was Golden Golden Coordinator. NSDP phase two was North South and East West Corridor. North South and East West Corridor is NSDP phase two. NSDP phase one was Golden Coordinator. Phase two is East West Corridor and North South Corridor. And then from uh, phase three. The government actually has started to improve national highways from two lanes to four lanes and further, which includes 12,000 kilometers. And remember that in one of the important is NSDP phase five, in which four lane highways will be converted to six lanes for selected 5,000 kilometers of the area. Four lane highways will be connected to uh, will be converted to six lane highways. So just um, have a look. I would just tell you go for five minutes at Wikipedia. Just read all NSDP phases, all the seven phases. It will it won't take more than five minutes. After the session, do have a look. Which of the following is not used by RBI to control liquidity in the market? CRR, SLR, SDR, and repo rate. Good, good. A lot of you are answering. A number of you are answering. Keep it up. Keep it up. <laughs> yes, a number of question answers are coming. CRR, SLR, SDR, and repo rate. What is CRR? CRR is cash reserve ratio. SLR, SLR is cash reserve liquidity ratio. SDR, SDR is special drawing rights. Special drawing rights are used by IMF, so it is nothing. It's no way related to RBI. So correct answer is SDR. Repo rate, CRR, and SLR are used to control liquidity in the market. CRR and SLR directly affect the bank. When they are increased, man's ability to give loan is decreased. So a money hands up to the bank. Repo rate when it is increased or decreased, a bank's capacity to lend and uh, increases and it decreases accordingly. And then it finally uh, affects the liquidity in the market. So CRR cash reserve ratio, SLR statutory liquidity ratio. And SDR is special drawing rights. SDR, remember, is related to IMF, International Monetary Fund. In International Monetary Fund, the currency is SDR. SDR is the currency of International Monetary Fund. The currency is not rupees or dollars or yen or euro or pound. 
Here the currency is SBR. Okay, Asia's first export processing zone was set up in the year 1965. Asia's first export processing zone was set up in year 1965 as which of the following? A number of answers are coming. See the very good. Now there is uh, some of you must be thinking Vishaka Patam because these highlighted. I tell you this was a trap. So just do not be, do not um, fall into it. Let's see how many of you know that. Actually, it must have been some uh, formatting error. The correct answer is Kandla. It was set up in 1965. Kandla is in which state? Kandla is in which state? Yes, Gujuland. Good. Gujarat. Next, Eli Katabira is the current president of International Aid Society. She belongs to which country? She belongs to which country? Now, so it's purely now, by the name, you can go for Uganda and South Africa, but beyond that, it's your choice. It's our correct answer is Uganda. It's a factual question, pure factual. So, you know it, you don't know it, 10, 15 seconds, give correct, uh, mark it and move ahead. The state of North in, in North India, only where more than 50 percent births take place in private hospitals, is so which of the following? Just more than 50 percent births take place in more than 50 percent births take place in private hospitals, and not in the government hospitals. The correct answer is Jharkhand. So, more of a fact, Haryana is a, more of a fact, Haryana, Uttar Pradesh, Himachal Pradesh, all have, are against this trend. Now, simple question, what is the median age of India? Use your sense before answering that. It's there in the answer. What is the median age of India? So, 20, 28, 35, 42. So, median, what is median age? Median age is the age above which 50% of the country is and age above which rest 50% are. So, 50% above that age is 50% population below that age. That is the median age. 20 is two years, 42 is highest in the world for Japan. India is a young, young country. And rather its median age is 28. 28 also looks sensible to 35 is a bit too much. It's generally in the Eastern European areas. 42 is very aged. It's more in areas like Germany, Russia, Japan and um, 20 years is very less. That is in most of the African areas where actually the average population uh, and, and life expectancy is very less. So, it, um, in the age protected area of um, Africa where median age is too less, India is on a healthier side rather, but it's still relatively young because of the large youth in the country and the correct answer is 28 years. According to latest Indian forest, which of the following states has second maximum area under forest cover among all the states in India? The second largest.
Yes. Correct answer is Arunachal Pradesh. Fourth is Madhya Pradesh and second is Arunachal Pradesh. Your facts do not use many of your ideas. Biofuels are supposed to contain several hazardous pollutants. Which of the following is not among them? In biofuels, which of the following is not found in the biofuel? What is a biofuel? I hope you must be aware of what is biofuel. Well, biofuel is a type of fuel whose energy is derived from biological carbon. Biological carbon, that is biological carbon fixation. So, from this, which of the following is unlikely to be a product? Carbon monoxide is organic. Formaldehyde is organic. Nitrogen dioxide, nitrogen is mostly present with carbon in most of the proteins and amines. So, chlorine is the most likely and yes, chlorine is the correct answer. So, chlorine is the correct answer because where from is to get chlorine. What is NAMA? It is related to WTO. It is related to WTO. It is related to WTO. A lot of you are giving an answer. Let's see another 15 seconds for you. Uh, seems to be most of you are wrong, wrong. So what is that? It is related to WTO. It is actually related to non-agricultural market access. So what is it? It was actually in 2001 during Doha declaration of WTO that actually called for reduction of tariffs for reduction of tariffs on exportable goods to developing countries. NAMA is non-agricultural market access. It was a very, very important negotiation in WTO and uh, the most important part is that NAMA is actually holding the most of the world's merchandise exports. NAMA is the main uh, negotiation which holds around 75 to 80 percent of the world's merchandise exports. So it is a very, very important clause of WTO and thus is related to most of the countries. Then which among the following nominated members of the Rastava has recently got an opportunity to examine issues related to public distribution system? Which of the following? It is easy, it was recently in the news. Good, good. A number of you, but most of you are not reading the newspapers, I guess. Those in newspaper may may parta hai haat upar karo. Hmm, बहुत सारे लोगों के फोटो दिख रही हैं यहाँ से. Well, कुछ हाथ उधर होने लगे हैं, लिख लिख के आ रहा है. So, correct answer is Rekha. Hmm, जिसने फिल्म में देखी है, उसकी वो भी हाथ उपर करो.
well okay fine so correct answer is rekha we move on to question number 31 the phrase non performing assets what is non performing assets <laughs> yes, most of you are giving the right answers. Good, good. So I thought it was moderately tough, but uh, good. So by sense you can eliminate some of the areas, and I thought it was moderately tough, but most of you have made it as a sitter. Of course, yes. Most of you have given the correct answer. Advances on which repayment is not forthcoming as per repayment schedule. So, that's why we have done in our life. Many people take money and they make non-performing assets. We take money from our friends, pay them, and then we will give them non-performing assets. We take money from our friends, pay them, and then we will give them non-performing assets. We take money from our friends, pay them, and then we will give them non-performing assets. We take money from our friends, pay them, and then we will give them non-performing assets. We take money from our friends, pay them, and then we will give them Yes, it's non-performing effects. Okay, fine. So correct answer is option C. Advances on which repayment is not forthcoming as per repayment schedule. Question number thirty-two. Question number thirty-two. बाप रे बाप लगता है बहुत सारे लोगों को आता है ये सो इट्स रिलेटेड टू फूड स्टॉक और जस्ट प्रॉपर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ पब्लिक एसेट्स अ लॉट ऑफ यू गिविंग डी पब्लिक एसेट्स आर पब्लिकली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड बाय पब्लिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सिस्टम नो ऑफ कोर्स नॉट दैट इज वेरी लेन टू थिंक अबाउट दैट प्रोवाइडिंग पीपल विद प्लान और मे बी फेयर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ मींस ऑफ प्रोडक्शन Some are still wrong. Well, the correct answer is public distribution system mainly aims at providing people with food stuff. Because of the very bad public distribution system in India, we generally see a number of people who go um, hungry every night. And uh, though we have uh, enough production in this country, still uh, there are a lot of people who actually do not uh, get access to the food. Question number thirty-three. From a total of twelve biodiversity hotspots in the world, India has two. These are which of the following are two hotspots in India? Indus and Jhelum Plains and Deccan Plateau, Eastern Ghats and Thar Desert, Kur and Chhattisgarh, Eastern Himalayas and Western Ghats. Question is easy. Most of you should answer. Recently, one of the following was in the news. Very correct. Most of you gave the correct answer. Indo-Gangetic chain. How can that be a biodiversity spot? Many of you are giving answer as A. Indo-Gangetic chain. Remember, biodiversity is high where there is high rainfall. What is a biodiversity? Biodiversity is the variation in the. It's the variation in the life. It's a variation in the life that is fauna and flora. So, um, the variation in the plant life, variation in the animal life, that is biodiversity. खुद ही सोचो एक जंगल में बहुत ज़्यादा biodiversity रहती है या एक शहर में रोड रहेगी जहाँ पे खाली रोड रहेगी कोई पेड़ पौधा नहीं रहेगा there will there is no tree there is no plant of course there will not be any biodiversity. A number of uh, small insects and many of the animals thrive on these. Uh, plants and those small grasses. Now, uh, so in this sense, wherever there is high rainfall, very high rainfall, there will be absolutely high biodiversity. So, biodiversity hotspot is the area uh, where there is there uh, there is a variety of biodiversity. There is very high number of biodiversity. So, what happens in in the following option? Indo-Gangetic plain has medium rainfall. It has rainfall for 50 cm to 200 cm. 
Deccan Plateau is almost devoid of rainfall. It is very less, less than 100 centimeters. Many of these areas are actually um, in the arid area. Eastern Ghat, Eastern Ghat has rainfall, but still it has around 200 kilometers, 200 millimeters of, 200 centimeters of rainfall. Thar Desert, well, Thar Desert, deserts are the opposite to biodiversity hotspots. Generally, deserts have very low biodiversity because of the absence of food, water. <coughs> Makur Valley in Chhattisgarh. Poor Valley to an extent has a big biodiversity area, but Chhattisgarh doesn't have. The most suitable answer is Eastern Himalayas and Western Ghats. Now, there must also be a confusion between Eastern Himalayas and Western Himalayas. The point is, in the Eastern Himalayas, there are heavy rainfalls. Because when monsoon strikes India in, on the plain area, it actually comes to the Eastern area. And when it comes to the Eastern area, it meets Himalayas and it sheds its moisture there. And it starts moving parallel to Himalaya towards West Bengal, Bihar, UP, trains up to Delhi, up to Pindra, up to basically up to Delhi. So what happens is as it moves forward, the amount of rainfall decreases. So in the western areas of Himalaya, there is not very high biodiversity because of low rainfall. It's not less rainfall, but it's moderate rainfall. In the eastern Himalaya, we know one very famous place, Cherapunji in Cherapunji is in which state? In which state is Cherapunji? Let's see. Well, we have an answer from, uh, we have so many answers. The correct answer is Meghalaya. Uh, Cherapunji is in Meghalaya. So, Meghalaya is in the eastern area, eastern Himalaya. The uh, winds, the monsoon winds coming from Bay of Bengal strikes this area and a heavy amount of rainfall is there. You won't be able to imagine that how, uh, you know, the rainiest place in these areas get rainfall, many areas get rainfall more than 600 centimeters, up to 1000 centimeters of rainfall in it. So most of the areas are more than 4000, 400 centimeters. So 400 centimeter rainfall above is very high and similar in the western part. Western part, rainfall, uh, the air comes in and western part stops it and all the rainfall is shed there. So this area has it. Now we have an um, we have a query also Mosan Ram yes it's correct in Cherapunji there is a small village called Mosan Ram where actually uh, this heavy rainfall takes place. Okay so Eastern Himalayas and Western Ghats. This um, we explained a lot to this question. Let's move on to the next. Kesari dal also known as grass tea was banned for consumption in 1961 as it was believed that beta and oxalin Amino alanine, a neurotoxic amino acid in the legume cross neurolactrin or a paralysis of the lower limb. In which of the following states the sale for human consumption was banned? In which, now from this question I have uh, mentioned a number of uh, chemicals also. Just have a view of the chemicals also because, um, just have a view of these because this will help. I could have just given directly as paralysis of lower limbs. So the just I wanted to give more details, so I have written whole of the question. So in which state? In which state it was? The correct answer is actually West Bengal. Yes. The correct answer was West Bengal. It had happened three to four years back, rather five to six years back. So now question number thirty-five. In the past few years. Foreign exchange reserves in India have increased considerably, have remained steady, have decreased significantly, have decreased by a small margin. Now, थोड़ा सा दिमाग लगाओ पिछले चार साल में इंडिया का ट्रेड दुनिया से बढ़ा है कि घटा है? जितना ज़्यादा पॉजिटिवली बढ़ा है उससे क्या होगा? हमारा टूरिस्ट हमारे यहाँ बहुत सारे आ रहे हैं। We are getting foreign exchange reserves from many areas, so it has remained steady or decreased significantly, increased significantly. I hope you must be able to answer this. Very good. Most of you are giving correct answers. जो नहीं दे पा रहे हैं वो भी इसी में ए दबा दो जल्दी से। जल्दी से ए दबा दो। मुझे लग रहा है कि सारे के सारे अच्छे आंसर दे रहे हैं। हम्म कई लोग मौके का फायदा उठा रहे हैं जिनके नाम पहले नहीं आ रहे थे वो भी खटा खट दबा रहे हैं। Good good। हम्म मौके पे चौका। हम्म एकाद लोग उसमें भी इतने ज़्यादा होते आ रहे हैं कि सी ऑप्शन मार कर दे रहे हैं। बोले ए मारो तब भी सी दे रहे हैं। Okay fine so A is the correct answer let's move on to the next question 
Yes. Now, one of the question is, but foreign investment are decreasing. Foreign investment decreasing is certainly not clearly related to this because if foreign investment is decreasing, then our expenses are decreasing. And what happen, what happening is, just think about a situation. If your salary is twenty thousand and you are spending ten thousand, your salary decreases to fifteen thousand, but your spending also decreases to four thousand. So until you will have more reserves for yourself. So as if investments are decreasing, that cannot be the only reason. There are more reasons which alter the you know, foreign exchange reserves in any country. So question number thirty-six. Microfinance very commonly used in economic policies these days. Very commonly used in economic policies these days. Yes, number of answer, number of answers. देते जाओ, देते जाओ, देखते हैं, बहुत तेजी से दे रहे हैं. Yes, good. बहुत सारे लोगों ने तब तक Google पे भी चेक कर लिया लगता है। अभी तक आंसर आ रहे हैं। Good. Some of you have started to give recent answers. Okay, so the correct answer is A. Microfinancial services to micro entrepreneurs and small businesses which lack access to banking and related services. A lot of you are so there is a doubt also. Many of you are not reading the question, I guess. So, ऐसे नहीं कि कुछ भी आंसर मार कर दो. Now, one of the doubt is that why not C? It's not because C because it it it's not directly given to the poor. It actually financing is to help industries basically help small units, small. Businesses. It's not about giving to the poor. For the poor, you can directly distribute to the poor public distribution system. You can hand over them a subsidized food, or you can hand them cash transaction. From them, you don't need finance. In finance, is you give money and you expect it to be back, and that is to help. For poor, we just give away the money. Microfinance is completely different from giving arms or something. Okay. So, uh, see, certainly not. It's, uh, giving handing directly to the poor is not I among mean, is not in the microfinance. Microfinance. Like the finance in the real markets of Mumbai, where uh, thousands of crores are given as a finance. Similarly, very small businesses in India, and many parts of the country, actually, actually they don't have, uh, uh, actually they don't have uh, many parts of the India. They don't have enough of financial uh, uh, available. So uh, due to uh, lack of finances in these areas, there was less development in the business. And now with microfinance, it has started. Question number thirty-seven. An indicator currently used by UNDP and many of the world for measurement of quality of people's lives is known as. क्या होता है? जल्दी से हाथ ऊपर उठाओ और बताओ. जो नहीं बताएगा उसका नाम पांच बार अनाउंस होगा. रमेश और अरोड़ा. मैंने पांच बार नहीं हुआ. रिचा सिंह, एब्सल्यूटली रॉन, राहुल चौधरी. एच बी आई गुड अंकुर शिवहरे यू गेव मेनी करेक्ट आंसर बट दिस इज रॉन्ग वेल मोस्ट ऑफ यूर करेक्ट वेरी गुड अब और नाम नहीं अनाउंस होगा बाकी लोग अब गलत आंसर मत दो सब लोग सही दे दो सब लोग ए दे ए दबा दो एच बी आई ह्यूमन डेवलपमेंट इंडेक्स नाउ इन एच बी आई विच ऑफ द थ्री कम्पोनेट आर देर इन एच बी आई नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एच बी आई ने कौन से तीन एरिया देखते हैं राइट आंसर इन वन लाइन कॉमा के साथ एक लाइन में अभी तक सब क्या कर रहे हो कि एक एक दे दे रहे हो सम ऑफ यू आर गिवन हेल्थ एजुकेशन नाउ वन ऑफ यू आर गिवन सैलरी आल्सो वेरी करेक्ट मेनी ऑफ यू आर स्मार्ट बी सी एंड डी इट्स गिवन इन द नेक्स्ट थ्री लाइन वेरी गुड वेरी गुड 
And do you know who created this SBI? Who created this uh, SBI? Uh, many answers are coming. Amar, Chen, Mehboob, Ullah. Very correct. Both of them had actually, but Mahmood Al Mehboob Al Haq actually had created, and then Amar Chen had actually made it more popular through more innovations. Very correct. Good. A lot of you are having good knowledge. अच्छी बात है कौन बनेगा करोड़पति में भी दो तीन लोग जा सकते हो ओके क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी एट वन एरिया इन विच कोऑपरेटिव मूवमेंट हैज बीन मोर सक्सेसफुल विद एग्जेम्पलरी विच एरिया कोऑपरेटिव मूवमेंट हैज बीन सक्सेसफुल Yes. Yes. The correct answer is daily and milk production. Good. Correct answer. Most of you gave the correct answer. So. Now uh, I again repeat some of our pandals. Ten seconds. Read it. If you don't know, just do not answer. If you know the answer, well, suddenly go to karna hai. Suddenly go up, jao, or aage chalo. And uh, still, if you know, and uh, for some questions, there are keywords. If you just don't get anything, try to get a keyword. Another five to seven seconds, but total overall not more than an average of thirty seconds per question. यहाँ पे हम लोग बहुत ज्यादा समय दे रहे हैं इतना समय एग्जाम में नहीं लेने विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज द सेकंड लार्जेस्ट एग्रो बेस्ड इंडस्ट्री इन इंडिया सेकंड लार्जेस्ट एग्रो बेस्ड एंड विच इज द लार्जेस्ट डू टेल दो द आंसर्स लार्जेस्ट एंड सेकंड लार्जेस्ट यस मेनी आंसर आर कमिंग करें कॉटन इज द लार्जेस्ट विच इज द सेकेंड लार्जेस्ट Jute is very small. Jute uh, is only concentrated in West Bengal area. Remember, jute is concentrated in the West Bengal area near um, Kolkata area. It, most of them are uh, concentrated. So jute is certainly not. Oil for oil also India has limited. Then which are left? Sugar and paper. Paper for paper you need wood. Wood is lumbering activity. Lumbering activity is very prominent in Russia and Canada. In India, lumbering is very low. Second largest agro-based industry left is sugar. Yes, very correct. It's growing most of the northern plains area and even in the southern areas of Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh. And uh, in the northern area, uh, the chief states are Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. Question number forty: Which of the following agency was set up to promote new technological inputs for enhancing prosperity? Tenth Lagao. थोड़ा सा दिमाग लगाओ इस तरह का कुछ बता चुके हैं पहले भी हम्म कोई गलत नहीं दे रहा अंदर सारे के सारे सही दे रहे हैं लगता है सारे के सारे चीटिंग कर रहे हैं दूसरे का गुड गुड मोस्ट ऑफ द आंसर आर करेक्ट द करेक्ट आंसर इज A part Council for Advancement of People's Action and Rural Technology. Do remember its full form also. Council for Advancement of People's Action and Rural Technology. Now, in Indian agriculture, which of the following is next to food grains in terms of area covered value? In India, you know, which of the following is next to food grains in terms of area coverage value? All seeds, vegetables, fruits, flowers. Something 
related to your common knowledge? The correct answer is oil seeds. You must have heard about yellow revolution. Yellow revolution is related to oil seeds. It's related to the oil seeds. The correct answer is oil seeds. Some of you are asking the last answer. Our last answer was a part. So the question is, who is the father of yellow revolution? Indian government is the father of yellow revolution. If white revolution is the father, then every thing will be two or three fathers. There have been it's mostly related to Indian government. It's not. It's actually M V Rao, but M V Rao is not directly related. You know, it's still uh, not. Uh, it's not like Varghis Kuren that we regarded as father of white revolution. M V Rao is still regarded by some of the literature, but uh, still do not go blindly follow that. Question number forty-two. Uh, which among the following state government has signed a memorandum of understanding with LIC to provide insurance? Coverage to about 7.8 lakh Hindu leaves suckers and 20,000 binders. It is in which state? The state is Odisha. The state is Odisha. The correct answer is Odisha. What is this for use? Hindu Hindu leaf is used for what? Yes, yes, many of you are answering correct. BD. Hmm. I hope some of you must be having that in your pocket. Kuch log to rakhe hi hoge. Jo log rakhe hai, haath upar karo. Okay, some of you must be having that. Okay, fine. Haan, kuch log ke answer aare, yes. Tendu leaf, tendu patta. Okay, fine. So, let's move on to the next question. 43. Who among the following have been chosen for... Fukuoka Prize. Who among the following has been chosen for Fukuoka Prize 2012? Yes. The correct answer is correct answer is what? Correct answer is Vandana Shiva. Now what is this uh, award presented for? Fukuoka Prize is actually presented for uh, for uh, doing outstanding work in preserving Asian culture. It's an uh, uh, award given by uh, given in Japan by Fukuoka City and it has all started since 1990. It is given for preserving Asian culture. Recently it has been given to, in 2012, it has been given to Vandana Shiva for environmental philosophy. Now, question number 44. A land record computerized project titled Apna Khata launched in Rajasthan has backed an international award in recognition of its significant contribution to rural development. The project has been awarded which award? Yes. 
question number 44. The correct answer is D. International Environment Award. Has received International Environment Award. Apna khata. Do remember to claim such things sometimes get asked in the uh, IRMA exam. So, the question may only be regarding IRMA khata. The question may be what is the name of the project that has been launched in Rajasthan and which has uh, uh, back an international award in recognition of its significant contribution to the development. Okay, so you know just uh, remember that The National Bureau of Agriculturally Important Insects, NBAI, is located in which of the following cities of India? Question, answer the question. The correct answer is Bengaluru. The correct answer is Bengaluru. So just factual question. Do not worry about such questions. Such questions you know or you just don't know. Do not ponder around. 10 seconds. Read the question. Don't know. Leave it. Move on to the next one. A lot of questions are actually not known by many of the persons. So just do not worry about such questions. There will always be some questions which uh, many of you will not be knowing actually. Yeah, so, AIDS Control Organization in Karnataka State AIDS Control Society has launched a single window project in the four districts of Karnataka to facilitate social protection and deliver social entitlements for people living with HIV. Name the project. Name the project. Swav Lamban. Many of you are giving Swav Lamban. Swav Lamban is certainly not. It's an insurance area. Nirvai, Nirvai, so I don't know what I'm saying. I'm giving a lot of answers. So I gave you the option. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is C, Utkarsha. Okay, the correct answer is C, Utkarsha. Next one, again, factual. Who among the following has won Sulab Kala, Sarjit Samman? Instituted by Sulab International, founded by Bindeshwar Patak for sanitation. What is the answer? Who among the following has won Sulab Kala Sajak Samman? The correct answer is Virendra Prabhakar. Correct answer is Virendra Prabhakar. So, question is <laughs> factual. Sir, Jada Matlakao, Dukhne Lagega. Which state government has banned the use of the expression handicapped? Which state government has banned the use of the expression handicapped? The correct answer is A, Haryana. Correct answer is A, Haryana.
Question number 49. Who among the following has been chosen for the Raymond Megasese Award for Economic Empowerment of Thousands of Women and Their Families in Northern India? Easy question. Must be aware of the Raymond Megasese Award this time. Yes, correct. Kulandi Francis. Correct. Kulandi Francis. Yes, it's like Asian Nobel Prize. Which country gives Raymond Megasese Award? Which country gives Raymond Megasese Award? <laughs> Raymond, can you do Roman work for Lena? It is not answer for Lena. Oh, can you do Bangladesh with Lena answer? Bangladesh to Korea award asked at Lena Suna Binia. Correct answer is Philippines. One of the answers is China. China may have been answered to me, okay. Randy Francis. China may have been answered to me, okay. Randy Francis. The virus that has spread in many East African countries is which of the following virus? Sandy to some day they kill like Apa. Marvel virus was uh, earlier virus, uh, it was not this time, it was Ebola. Ebola virus is the correct answer. <coughs> Correct answer is Ebola. Which ministry has launched Mukta Vidya Vahini? Mukta Vidya Vahini. Related to education, which ministry it must be? Dimaag lagao thoda. Education ke tere with ministry ke related hai. Agriculture, finance and rural development. Yes, most of you are giving correct answers. Good, good. Participation has become more than 5 minutes. Let's start the India office. Don't let it go. Jaldi se dabao button. Yes. Ah, thode wapis hai. Good, good. Okay, so correct answer is HRD Ministry. Correct answer is HRD Ministry. Now, again, very factual, in which city is Mahatma Gandhi Institute of Education for Peace and Sustainable Development is being set up? Yes, in which city is Mahatma Gandhi Institute of Education for Peace and Sustainable Development is being set up? London, Paris, New York or Berlin? You know, it has been set up with the help of UNESCO. UNESCO has come forward to set up with the government of India. Correct answer is Paris. The correct answer is Paris. Paris is in which country? Jisko bhi pata hai, wo answer mat likho. Jisko answer nahi pata hai, wo likhe batao jara nahi pata hai jisko. Haha, India. Okay, fine. So, let's move on to question number 53. The software developed by Navanath Saharia and Kishore Mohan Kaur for using Athenese language in a Unicode compatible format is known as. Easy one. Akash, Drishti, Indo card, Luis card. Yes, the answer is Louis Pad, correct. Most of you have given the correct answer. It was commonly in the news some two, three months back. The venue of Northeast Centre for Technology Application and Reach, NECTR, to facilitate access to various technologies to the region is <laughs> where is NECTR being established in Northeastern state? Recently it has been established to facilitate access to various technologies of the region.
The correct answer is Shillong. It has been set up in Shillong. These questions are mostly card based Shillong. What was the theme of this year's World Environment Day? Theme of this year's World Environment Day. Theme of this year's World Environment Day. Number of answers, green life, clean life, sustainable economy, are you ready? Green economy does it include you? So the correct answer is green economy does it include you? Green economy does it include you? Who has been awarded the first Tagore Award for Cultural Harmony? Who has been awarded the first Tagore Award for Cultural Harmony? Tagore Award has been started this year for Cultural Harmony. Who was who's the first one? Our famous pundit Ravi Shankar. Ravi Shankar is famous for which area? In which area? Pandit Ravi Shankar ji is famous in which area? Yes, he plays what? The number of answers, tabla, sitar, sarod, flute. Kuch log bata rahe hai, kuch bajate hai. Ye to hume bhi bata hai, kuch bajate hai. The correct answer is sitar. Of course, most of you are correct. Sitar. Pandit Ravi Shankar. <coughs> so next, what is Shram Sansar? Recently, Shram Sansar has been started. What is it? A portal? What is it? Uh, it's a portal or a newsletter or a book? What is it? It's an online portal or it's a newsletter or a book? What is the correct answer? The correct answer is it's a newsletter to provide awareness about labor practices. Shram Sansa, it's a round world of labor. Okay, so question number 58. The place in Rajasthan where first spike park has been inaugurated. First spike park in India has been inaugurated. It's an easy question. Question is not easy, but options are very easy. Yes. Rampura Bhatia or Ramnagar? What is it? It's it's uh Bhatta Prasol was famous for agitation because of the land land problem. It was it is near Noida. So of course Bhatta Prasol is not the correct answer. Rampura Bhatia and Ramnagar. Among Rampura Bhatia and Ramnagar, Rampura Bhatia is the correct answer. Rampura Bhatia is in Rajasthan and it's correct. <coughs> Name the NGO which has been chosen for America's first innovation award for empowerment of women girls 
for training and organizing waste pickers and eliminating child labor from recycling. Which one? Manthan, Bachpan, Chintan, Bharti, Manan. Which NGO has been chosen? Hmm, the answer is here. Now we are going to be able to participate. Good. Keep it up. A lot of your participating well. The correct answer is Chintan Bharti. Chintan Bharti. Now, easy question for the last question. Which is the largest GDP in the world? Which is the country with the largest GDP in the world? US, China, Japan or India? Log aapke news lakta hai nahi bol rahe hai. A lot of them are writing China. China has overtaken Japan, but still USA is far ahead. So for next three, four years, if any of you are still giving the MBA exam, <coughs> do mark answer as USA. USA is clearly far ahead of others in terms of purchasing power parity or even in terms of real income. Both in both the category, US is far ahead. It's around 14 trillion dollars. And um, one of you have given the debt of 1.3 trillion dollars. No, it's more than 15 trillion dollars. You have given a very small debt. It's the debt with Barack Obama, two years ago, the entire election is won. 1.3 trillion dollars. So every year, every year, we are getting more than 15 trillion dollars of debt. But yes, GDP is very high. It's almost 100 percent of debt, and uh, it's around 14 to 15 trillion dollars. And uh, so end of question number 16, I hope you know, I, ideally from this is, uh, some of you are asking second highest GDP, it's clear with China. <coughs> China has been second and uh, most of the indexes, uh, Japan is third, India is third or fourth in uh, some of the indexes because of on the purchasing power parity value. Purchasing power parity value, say India has been third in most of the indexes. But in the real income, India is still at 10. It's around 2 trillion dollars for India. But with purchasing power parity, India is around 5 trillion dollars. It's, uh, it's on third position in most of the <coughs> indexes. In some position, in some of the indexes, you can find Japan. But still, it's third in most of the indexes. It's 10 in real income and it's third in TPP. So out of 60, I still say ideal attempt should be 30 correct and 6 wrong or maybe 25 to 26 correct and 6 to 7 wrong. So that in all you make 20, 22 marks. That is 40% of the total marks, 16 marks in 40 questions. This is 60 questions. Okay, I hope uh, most of you Yes, uh, some more part is left. Um, uh, some more part that is 30 questions. 30 questions just we'll read it across. We'll read it across uh, very fastly. And uh, all of you, those who have missed the session, some or the other part, you should uh, visit the website as soon as possible. Or if uh, still you do not don't get the PPT there, you can still mail me directly. But I'll try uh, that we uh, we get to you as soon as possible in the early morning or even today uh, late night because it, it's a process to upload the whole um, uh, uh, PPT or the session. So uh, because the exam is day after tomorrow, we will try just today night or tomorrow morning, most of you will get it. And still if you do not get, you just mail me across on my ID. And <clears throat> I still say how many of you scored actually 25 after cutting minus 1 by 4? 25. Where uh, 25. <laughs> 25. Yes, good. Some of you are giving an answer. Jino ne kiya, dono haath upar kar lo At least show it to your friends that you actually scored 25. So, good. Very good. 
Good. Those who have scored between 20-25, well, good, very good. You can actually get through very easily, but rather try for higher marks. Now, 30 marks, anybody 30 marks, I hope some of you would be, and you have a very good preparation. You can easily score plus 10 marks above the cutoff. 12 marks, say, 20 marks, 20 marks, we are there. 40 days, it will be a very great attempt, and certainly it will increase your chances, uh, very, it will magnify your chances to a large extent. So, question, next 10 questions. Good, we have some uh, people who are telling that they are 30 plus, good, congratulations for that. And let's see, next 10 questions, just read through, take one minute, read through the questions, we move on to next slide, another 10 questions, then next slide, another 10 questions, and uh, finally then we we'll wrap up the session. In all, uh, by reading the questions, just have your ears open, do not panic in the examination. थोड़ा दिमाग लगा के ये काम करना दस सेकेंड में पढ़ना थोड़ी इज्जत रखना हमारी भी ओके ओके क्वेश्चन टेन क्वेश्चन आई होप आई एम चेंजिंग द स्लाइड ओवर टू द नेक्स्ट दीज आर सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चन विच हैव कम इन द प्रीवियस ईयर पेपर्स प्रीवियस ईयर पेपर्स Yes, just have a look. Just have a look. Whatever you don't know, just kindly refer it to me. Or if you have a doubt, you can mail me across. I'll give you. Just read it across. Question. Now uh, you don't have options for this certainly, but you know, just read it across. Um, <clears throat> these are some of the previous questions. You just don't need to find everything on the web. Some of the questions may not be relevant without the options, but just have a look at, a look at it. That these are the type of questions that have come in the previous years. So uh, just have a look. Another ten. And yes, many of you are asking that will it be available on class apart. Certainly, it will be available on class apart. As soon as possible, I'll try my level there to get it there as soon as possible. Another 10 questions and just have a look. So 9 questions, we have a total of 89. So if you have missed any part of the session, you can visit tomorrow www.karyolancher.com uh, slash class apart. We will try it, we will have it just afterwards, just now and I am sending my email ID for all of you. If you have any doubt, you can just mail across. <coughs> okay, just mail across here and fine. Thank you very much. Best of luck for your exam. Hope you crack Irma. Hmm. Who will be better? We will be better. Good, good. Very good. All of you, best of luck. Shirasha, are you there? Shirasha, can you be online? Yes, 
Yo, Sri Atra. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, fine, I can hear you, absolutely. Yeah, this is an awesome session, dude. Really good. Ah, maza aya. Maza aya, ek dab, yaar. Perfect blend of information and entertainment. You know? Yeah, entertainment, really good. Yeah, one of it was boring, seriously. Yeah, you know, it, it gets, you know, when you don't have, when you don't have to see the faces. In front, in, in the class, it's, it's uh, still very easy. Uh, I am talking. Uh, you think all the students are disconnected? I think no. most of them. No, no, I, I, I'm still aware that I am not using, I'm not going off the line off the track. <laughs> yeah. So, but anyways, dude, excellent work. It was like engaging all the way. Yeah, it, it became you know, uh, first session was actually, you know, we, we were trying to sort it out that uh, to engage most of them because in such sessions it usually gets bored after some time. Uh, it's the usual uh, feedback from the students. And students are part sessions also like very good, but it's both of replies are there. Yeah, both of replies are there. Good, good. That's a good response. Of course, we carry on this session, these sessions, and um, uh, we have got feedback that people are doing well and they are getting some benefits because it's a sort of fun on the way when they keep on learning. And it's good when they participate, when they write the answer, in the process they learn the answer. That is also very good. You know, we'll try to extend these sessions. These sessions have been started this year, of course, you know, these things are being conducting. And of course, <coughs> Yeah, yeah and dog is marking behind me. Yes, yes, somebody is marking behind me. Uh, yeah, and uh, yes, all of you, be there for IFT GK session. Uh, day after tomorrow, we will be there. And uh, for, uh, then new questions for you, completely new blend of questions. We, of course, IFT is something different from this. This is um, issues of social concern. Okay, we don't have any social concern. It's, uh, uh, of course, um, um, the foreign trade, foreign trade, and a lot of trade. So, of course, we will uh, go there. We'll have another 15 to 20 minutes of IFT discussion and then we'll move on to actual foreign trade areas. And yes, all of you can expect the session to be uploaded very soon. I'll try my level best to get it through as soon as possible and uh, today evening or by tomorrow morning, 100%. Today before the bed or 100% before the before you get up in the morning, you'll find it on cfarelauncher.com slash class apart. Okay, fine, all of you, thank you very much.
Thank you. 